Today on In the Woodyard, I got a big load of logs. Look at the wood I got. It's awesome. Here we go. So last night, Tony and I got back from the uh, Paul Bunyan show, and this was waiting for me. Now, if it sounds like my voice is funny, it's because it is, because I talked all day long, every day, for four days straight, and then all the way home, too, so my voice is just raw. I don't have much of a voice, so hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying, because every once in a while I start hacking and coughing. But this load is awesome. I'm going to tell you about it. So here's the deal. My brother, Kenny, worked for a guy uh, doing some skidding, and he came down to this area to do a job where they had to do a clear cut. And it was a clear cut for development. So it wasn't like a nice big mature woods. It was just a bunch of odds and ends. And they took all the pine and that went to uh, one of the paper mills here. I guess they had a few loads of pine that went there. And it was a job where they got paid by the hour and they had all this odds and ends stuff that they needed to get rid of. And he was looking for a place to sell it to. And he really had no contacts in there. So Ken says, hey, you should call my brother, Chris. So he called me and he says, yeah, I'm gonna have a load or two of wood and it's gonna be everything. He said, you're gonna have ash, you're gonna have soft maple, you're gonna have some hard maple, you're gonna have some elm, uh, you might have some popple, you might have, uh, what else did I see in here? Box elder, that's it, there's box elder in here. So a little bit of everything. So mixed hardwood is what is in here and they really didn't have a place to sell it because there's no, there's no good wood here. This is not stuff that's going to be used for bolts or for lumber because it's just everything. It's a really a, a variety of stuff. And I told him, I said, you know, I get a lot of free tree service wood, which is basically what this is. It's like tree service wood, odds and ends. And uh, I really don't need it. So I really don't want to buy it. I said, unless you can give me a super good deal on it, I'm really not interested because I have a lot of other wood. Well, he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Right here, there is about 20 cords. I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to show you a pile that I got a while ago that has 14 cords in it, 14 or 15, and this is quite a bit bigger. So I'm thinking 20 cords or so. I got it for 50 bucks a cord. So this is gonna be about $1,000 worth, give or take. I mean, I'm, I, don't, I didn't get the bill yet because he's sending me the bill, but just by looking at it, I can tell that's about what this is. So if I got 20 cords here, uh, full cords, log cords, once it's processed, I'm gonna end up with every log cord, you end up with about 2.5 face cords or two thirds and a half of a third. So five sixths of a full cord of firewood is what I'll end up with. Now, I paid $50 a cord, when I sell it as a full cord, I sell my mixed hardwood for $360 a full cord. So all said and done, this $1,000 I'm spending on this, is, which is about what it's gonna be, will yield me about $4,000 in profit. So it was good buy. All I gotta do is process it, dry it, and then sell it, deliver it. So this was, this was good. This was good. So I'm gonna show you the other pile that I'm comparing this to so you guys can see here what I've got. This is, uh, there's, um, elm, elm, um, ash, ash, popple right there, box elder, maple, 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 oh, there's some elm right there, another popple, oh, we got cats right here, um, a lot of box elder right in through here, this right here, most people would not even know what this is, I only do because I cut it once in a while, <clears throat> this is, I gotta think for a second, it's not thorn apple, it's buckthorn. That's what that is, buckthorn, but that's a big one. But it's excellent firewood, a lot of BTUs in that. And I saw a little bit of it in here. Uh, here's a, this to me right here just looks like an apple tree. I'm almost positive that's what that is. That's a piece of apple. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of box elder right through here. Um, another maple, another maple, another maple up there, maple. More box elder, some ash, more maple. Box elder, box elder. So it's a real mix of stuff here. Some more maple, another maple, another maple right here. So you can see, and it's not real pretty wood by any means. I'm gonna come around to the other side so you can see. There's another elm right here. So it's odds and ends, all sizes of stuff. They put some stringers down, but it's a pretty darn nice pile. So if you get a, get a feel for how big this is, so you can see, and then over here, this is either 14 or 15 full cords of oak that I got delivered. 
and this pile is not nearly as big as that pile so i'm thinking this is close to 20. i could be wrong but just looking at it without measuring it without doing a scaling on it which is the only way to really do it it's higher and it's longer so for sure it's 18 but i think it's probably closer to 20. i'll know when i get the bill but anyway it's a thing of beauty i have wood didn't pay a lot for it and i'm going to be able to sell it because it's all good wood that will burn for fireplaces which is what i sell to now some of the wood snobs are going to say oh it's not oak it's not hickory it's not locust it's not uh, osage orange you know it's not it's not your high quality wood but for most people it's going to be just fine if you're just sitting enjoying wood in a fireplace or in a fire pit it'll burn because all wood burns so mixed hardwood there it is sweet okay now what we have to do is i have two deliveries to do so let's get doing that so i just backed up the truck to where i have this big bin here and this is the mixed hardwood bin that i'll be taking this from and i just thought i'd answer this because i got asked by two different people when i was at the paul bunyan show and they're like does that big huge pile you have is it really drying well this is the exact center of it right here and do you see any mold do you see any uh mushrooms do you see any moisture in the wood and this wood was a huge pile it, it went all the way from there and it was uh, i don't know 12 feet high or so maybe higher dry as a bone so it really does dry well here obviously i've got it off the ground on pallets and i've got the sides built up so it, there's some vertical to it and the wind can flow through underneath around the sides so we've got wind and sun all the time here when well, at night it's not sunny but we do have wind almost all the time and the wood dried here just awesome so excellent luck because a lot of people are like oh i think stacking's better well the thing is when you stack wood you're packing it tight against itself in rows tight and it dries that way see this is all packed in tight here so you got wood right on top of wood and then you got wood in between here and a lot of guys will go you know six seven rows wide and they just keep going they make big blocks of wood and it dries for them most of the time if they've got it in a big open area but if you've got it in an area where there's shade and not much wind it's not going to dry very good my brother ken has found that out he's got some areas that he tries to dry wood and it takes a couple years because it's underneath trees that are evergreen so they don't get uh the piles don't get any sun and they don't get much wind and he cuts his stuff bigger more for heating wood my stuff is cut smaller split smaller so that smaller splits and they dry faster so it's been excellent so these bins work okay we're gonna chuck some wood <laughs> So there it is wood mixed hardwood ash maple elm good stuff and this is the same kind of wood that i will be mixing with that big load that i just got so when this is empty which will be fairly soon actually it's going to fill it right back up with next year's wood and that's probably what i'll do with a lot of the bins so i'll empty these out and uh we'll just bring all that other stuff over here and we'll be running the elevator with all the mixed hardwood right into these bins and we'll fill it right back up again because it works so good now while i was loading this i got to be doing some thinking and doing some math in my head and i was wrong about that big load i got way over there um the 20 or so log cords i just got if i pay a thousand dollars for it and if it is 20 it's a thousand dollars because i paid 50 dollars a cord but you get 2.5 full cords well not 2.5 five six of a full cord so if you're looking at face cords a thirds of a cord uh, i'm going to end up with 2.5 face cords or 2.5 third cords and i sell it for 120 per face cord and if there's as much wood there as i think it's actually six thousand dollars worth of wood when i sell it but yes some of you are going to say but what about the cost of your fuel to cut it process it and the bar oil and all the stuff that goes into it yeah there's probably going to be a hundred dollars maybe 150 dollars worth of fuel bar oil and stuff that goes into it plus my time obviously um but for a thousand dollars six thousand dollars worth of sales 
we're just gonna go crazy here and say, I take the $1,000 off, that's $5,000. Say it cost me $500 worth of fuel because I also have delivery I have to do for delivering the wood. So I take that off, so it's about $4,500 of profit I should have from that load of wood. So for those of you that say, oh, I would never buy wood, that's stupid, I get free wood. Well, if you can get a good deal, buy some wood. The wood is here. All I gotta do is cut it, split it, throw it in. I don't have to go anywhere to get it. I don't have to cut it in the woods. I don't have to load it into the truck and trailer. It's here. So there's a huge savings there. So a lot of people don't think of that. Yeah, you might be getting it for free, whether you get it in your own woods or if you gotta go to friends or neighbors or someone that just has wood that's uh, free for you to cut. You still gotta go to the woods, cut it down, cut it up, load it, haul it back in small amounts in general because most people aren't gonna have logging equipment. So. Just think about that. Let's go deliver some wood and make some money. So I just got done with my delivery and I'm driving on the street and I driving past my good friend here and I haven't talked to him in a while. So I thought it was probably time that I stop and do a little quick interview. And I just wanted to tell him, I make a compliment to him, how good looking he is. I just received a a nice portrait of him and it's a very good likeness and I think he looks better on here than he even does there. So Ben, gotta tell you, you're looking good. I like you, you're one of my best friends. You look much better than this guy, this Jackson character. Ben is a better looking guy. So back to the wood yard we go. I am back in the wood yard after my delivery and my next one is for one face cord or one third of a cord of oak. There's the oak, there's the truck. I'm going to fill it up. Sure was nice to visit with my Uncle Ben there for a little while. Hope you guys enjoyed that. He is my favorite uncle. Woodchucking time. I just threw in some big chunks here from this uh, stuff I got from my dad. So the stuff that's in the front down the bottom is the stuff that is only like six, seven months since it was split and put into the, the bins out there, but it was all on top, real dry. And then I put some of this bigger stuff in because um, I think this guy said that he didn't care what he got as long as it was oak. So I thought I'd give him some of these good chunks from the stuff that's five, six years old I got from my dad. So down the road we go, another delivery. Mm -hmm. 